हेलो नमस्कार मित्रों कोविड नाइनटीन यहाँ पर सर्व अपन घर बनता पे महत्वा परीक्षा जी नीट सी टी तो परीक्षा नवीन तारखा लवकर जाहिर होती अपन परीक्षे सा तैयार आहो को ही स्पर्धा परीक्षे की तैयारी करता दोन महत्वा मुद्दे लक्षा ठेवा कि तुम्हारा बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट कहला हवा तो कॉन्सेप्ट प्रॉब्लम सोड़नेस प्रश्न सोड़नेस वाला हा दोन मुद्दर भर देन आम्मी एक सीरीज लेक्चर से सुरू कर जेनेकर तुम्हें जिथ आसा तिथ स्वत शिकू श परीक्षे कॉन्फिडेंटली सामोरे जाऊ श अतिशय प्राणिक प्रयत्न है ज्यास लॉकडाउन संपेल प्रत्यक्ष तुम्हें आम भेटू शका तुम्हार शंका विचारू शका शंका निरस्त आम शंबर टक्के करूँ तो अपल लॉन्ग डिस्टन्स रिमोट कंट्रोल लर्निंग कम टीचिंग सुरू है सो आता आज मैं प्रति सा पेला पार्ट सुरू करते दैट इज फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट सो फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट का फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट का When certain metals are exposed to suitable light or electromagnetic radiations, this metal emit electrons. This metal emit electrons. This is called as photoelectric effect. When metal or the other kind of light padla. तर मेटल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इमिट करता फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट मानता इतना सिंपल कन्सेप्ट है फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट एक्सिडेंटली डिस्कवर्ड इट वॉज एक्सिडेंटली डिस्कवर्ड बाय हर्ड्स दिस इज इवैक्यूएटेड टू इलेक्ट्रोड्स You can set this electrode as P plate, which collects electrons. This is the emitter of electron. This is connected, suppose to negative potential difference, and this one is connected to plate. This is variable resistance, so that we can vary potential difference minus plus v. To measure this photoelectric current, suppose we put here milliampere. To measure potential difference across this plate and a, we connect here voltmeter, which measures potential difference, which measures potential difference. When this A is exposed to radiations, what happens? When this A is exposed to radiations, electrons are emitted. Electrons are emitted. These emitted electrons are called as photoelectrons. And this is photoelectric effect. Very simple. When metal plate is exposed to radiation. Electrons are emitted and collected by plate, and therefore photoelectric current flows. And therefore photoelectric current flows. So this experiment was conducted by Hertz. And who is Hertz? Hertz is the Bach models who discovered. इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स मनु नाव फ्रिक्वेंसी यूनिट हर्ड्स ओके हर्ड्स एक्सिडेंटली संगत कि करंट इज फ्लोइंग वेन 
metal is exposed to radiations. Hertz cannot explain it. Hertz cannot explain it. But which are the variables into this experiment? Actually, the variables are current. Second variable is voltage. And there are two variables here in radiations. These are frequency. Modern physics from the frequency is always denoted by A. And fourth one is intensity. And fourth one is intensity. So, on different experiments, the study is a very good The study is a consider relation between different variables. If the char variables are current, voltage, intensity and frequency. Yansa variation generally. The ja effect, photoelectric effect vakti. Ka effect vakti. That is the same. So what are the properties of this photoelectric effect? The first property of this photoelectric effect is ki haju photoelectric effect hai. Constantinus hai. Bande ka. Photoelectrons are ejected instantly when radiation falls on the metal surface. Metal surface will be like patla. Ki tyaaz instantly photoelectrons are emitted. Dusri property. <coughs> this photoelectric effect depends upon frequency. This photoelectric effect depends upon frequency. It is not depending upon intensity of light. It depends upon frequency of light. And if photoelectric effect depends upon frequency, Monday Zarka light as a frequency change here. So photoelectric if current particular effect. It is observed that. Ki photoelectric current is observed when photoelectrons are emitted and photoelectrons are emitted only when only when frequency of incident radiation nu is greater than or equal to nu zero. What this nu zero is? Nu zero is threshold frequency. Nu zero means threshold frequency. So this is that minimum frequency. This is that minimum frequency for which photoelectrons are emitted. If frequency of incident radiation is less than this frequency, then photoelectrons are not emitted. So, threshold frequency is minimum frequency. Threshold frequency is minimum frequency. So, we know this in light frequency and wavelength. So, you can define threshold frequency, you can define threshold wavelength. <coughs> so, threshold wavelength lambda is here. Frequency and wavelength are in inverse relation. If it is greater than, then here it is less than. When the photoelectrons are emitted only when incident wavelength is less than or equal to threshold wavelength lambda zero. So lambda zero is that maximum wavelength up to which emission of photoelectrons is possible. So what this is has several study a photoelectric effect experiments are. And from the experiment the study how variable chat comes for the kelazato, if a char variable set current voltage frequency intensity. And here observations, the two observations. See the third observation. Third observation has said, he has a photoelectric current. 
and some voltage set are relation you could you can say current against voltage this is third property suppose a positive voltage zero positive voltage for the p is negative p is positive with respect to a p is positive with respect to a so emitted photoelectrons are attracted by p plate या सिंबल है वोल्टेज जीरो असताना सुद्धा फोटोइलेक्ट्रिक करंट जीरो नसतो फोटोइलेक्ट्रिक करंट जीरो नसतो व्हाय दिस इज सो की एमिटेड फोटोइलेक्ट्रॉन्स ला काइनेटिक एनर्जी असते एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस काइनेटिक एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर रीचिंग टू प्लेट एंड वी आर गेटिंग करंट इवन व्हेन वोल्टेज इज जीरो you increase positive voltage the electron gain energy and photoelectric current increases photoelectric current increases so p is positive with respect to a photoelectric current increases with increase in positive voltage then it becomes constant there are that saturation photoelectric current this is called a saturation photoelectric current ata we will reverse we will reverse this terminus so we we'll make this as positive we we'll make this as positive and this as negative so when this is done so what we are doing we are making plate negative with respect to a So in that we say negative potential difference is applied. What we have done, we have made P <coughs> negative with respect to A, with respect to A. And if this negative potential difference is increased, photoelectric current gradually decreases. So photoelectric current gradually decreases. at a particular potential difference of negative <coughs> photoelectric current becomes zero this negative potential difference for which photoelectric current becomes zero is called as stopping potential is called as stopping potential so this is third problem and the fourth one is now see the stopping potential is not constant stopping potential is not constant this is most important thing stopping potential is not constant but stopping potential is directly proportional to nu what nu is New is frequency of incident radiation. <coughs> How is the relation? The stopping potential is directly proportional to new, directly proportional. And the graph is a straight line, but it is not passing through the origin because we are not getting photoelectric current up peak. We have this frequency of incident radiation equal to. A short frequency nu zero. After what? This graph is straight line. This graph is straight line. Correct. This is fourth property. Fifth one. <coughs> so this saturation photoelectric current. What is saturation photoelectric current? It is maximum photoelectric current at a given intensity of light. intensity of light is a change kali the saturation photoelectric current change photo and how is the change how is the dependence so saturation photoelectric current is directly proportional 
intensity of light or radiation. So saturation photoelectric current is directly proportional to intensity of light. And how this dependence is directly proportional? And this graph is like this then current R intensity straight line passing through the region. So saturation photoelectric current changes with intensity. So for the same stopping potential, if you increase the intensity, photoelectric current will increase. Photoelectric current will increase. So graph will be like this. So what is the difference between these two curves? This is first curve, second curve. For these both curves, frequency is same. For this both curve, mu is same. What is mu? Mu is incident frequency. What have changed here? Intensity has changed. So for first intensity 1 for second intensity 2 and this intensity 2 is greater than intensity 1 so the intensity is changing saturation photoelectric current is increasing but stopping potential is same because we are keeping frequency constant because we are keeping frequency constant and sixth property mu <coughs> 0 or lambda 0 what these what are these quantities threshold frequency and threshold wavelength well, this threshold are properties of metal or material properties of metal or material so this is the photoelectric experiment which was performed by Hertz and his associates and when they performed this experiment they obtained these six properties of photoelectric effect but all these six properties which were obtained by associates of Hertz could not be explained by Hertz or his associates photoelectric effect Experiments are some from the study hertz and that are associates make kela experiment completely explain kela to tenna explain kartala nahi ka tenna explain kartala nahi that we will see in part 2